Let's talk sleeping pads. <laughs> Hi everybody, it's Dave and Jim from MagLab. Since we earlier showed you how we test sleeping bags, today we want to look at the second half of that equation, your sleeping pad. So today we're looking at the thermal resistance of your sleeping pad. We're going to use a new standard that just was released recently called ASTM F3340. This is looking at the thermal resistance of camping mattresses specifically. So the first step we do, and I've already done, is we inflate the pad to a set pressure and we let it condition in our climate controlled room. 70 degrees Fahrenheit, 65% relative humidity. Again, we have climate controlled rooms around the world in labs, so we test this test in that condition just like we do fabric testing that we've shown you before. Uh, once the pad is inflated, we go ahead and we start measuring it out. We test each pad in three locations. So we're going to test right in the middle. And I'm going to use tape to mark my locations. And then I'm going to measure the one quarter mark and the three quarter mark. We test pads that are production ready um, if we're going to publish that R value. We also need to test three pads in order to actually publish an R value. We want to leave the pad as unmodified as possible. The only modification that we'll make is to the um, valve. What I've got here is a custom made valve adapter, we call it, that allows a hose to connect to it. We do not have steady airflow going into the pad during testing. What we're actually doing is we set the pressure, we monitor our pressure, and then once the test is complete, we can check it again and make sure that we're still at the set pressure. Okay, so the pad's gonna go into this machine here, which is known as a guarded hot plate. What we've got going on is a, a custom machine for this test. We've got a, a cold plate on the bottom. So this plate, thermal electrically cooled to hold five degrees Celsius during the test. The pad's gonna go on top of that. So this is the cold ground that my pad's sitting on. My pad goes in, and then I've got a guarded hot plate above that gets set at 35 degrees Celsius, which is gonna be simulating your warmth on your pad during the test. Once the pad is in there, we line it up so that the center of the pad is in the center of the guarded hot plate. And we let it sit down on there. The pressure that this pushes down on the pad is per the standard, and we let it run. What we're looking for is an equilibrium point where the amount of energy to hold the hot plate at 35 degrees Celsius doesn't change over a set period of time. Once we know the amount of energy going in to hold that, we know the amount of thermal resistance this pad is providing to maintain those temperatures. So like we said earlier, this is the other half of your sleeping system. And it's really important because... With this new standard, it's a really great thing for the industry and especially for the customers, because before you couldn't be sure that the R values you were seeing were comparable, they might have been doing different tests. Now that everybody is starting to use this test and getting on board with it, you should be able to compare apples to apples, our values on pads, choose the one that's right for you. Go ahead.